Yeah, that's all I did. And then, like, judge. That doesn't oh, make any sense. 200. Square root of a room? No. But, you know, square footage, whatever. Oh, the square footage. <laughs> the square root of the room. Okay, <laughs> on your paint, remember, it's going to take you a minimum of two coats. So when you figure out your paint, yeah. you're going to need to multiply it by two. Okay. So if you decide and you need one gallon for one coat, you're going to need two gallons. So, but if you have, like, black, I made, five. like, But what if you only need half a, a bucket to cover the whole room? How much did you make? How big are you? Well, I have a hallway that's, like... Ooh, yeah, you start shopping at the pawn shop. I can use one bucket and then like four coats. Okay, <laughs> then just get one. And for door moldings, do we just you want to have eight foot doors? Uh, your doors are seven feet. Are you going to make us like figure all that out? Doors are generally seven feet. Well, mine are eight because I'm making a, a fat house. <laughs> well, if it's a fat house, it doesn't need to be taller. It needs to be wider. Well, it has eight foot wide base. Eight foot wide doors. I'm telling you, it's a fat house. <laughs> I don't know how they can how they calculate that. A door, a standard door is seven feet tall. Oh, seven. Look at me. Seven feet tall. I have eight. Three feet wide. <laughs> Well, the doors are in Home Depot. Mine is eight yeah. feet tall they're eight and eight four. feet wide. No, they're not. <laughs> they're eight by four. They were, yeah. Okay. Well, let's say if it's eight by four. Wish you told me that earlier. Okay. Then you People need you need a molding to go eight feet this way, four feet this way, and eight feet this way. And that's just one side of the door. Why did you buy like three? So, like so that's six? twenty foot of. Uh, molding. Door molding on one side, so that means another twenty feet for the other side. So so much cash. Yeah, one door okay. Cressy's question was: If you're buying pre-hung doors that come with all that, then you don't have to worry about the door molding calculation. That's just in the cost of your pre-hung door. But you need to put pre-hung so that I know that. Now, on a pre-hung door, you got to make sure the moldings are on both sides. Okay? Yes. Uh, oh, yeah. Not all doors are that thingy. So do we have to use that thingy? No. Whatever your door is. Okay. When you wrote your information yeah, down, you that, should have I written the dimensions of your door. Okay. Stop talking. Back to crown moldings and baseboards. Most of your moldings and baseboards came in eight foot sections. So if you need 70 feet, you're going to do 70 divided by eight. All right? Nine. Which, and then you round up. So you'll need nine of the eight foot sections. So you would say nine. Now let's say an eight foot section costs you $12 for one section. All right? Well, it was nine sections times $12. Which would give you this for, let's say, the crown moldings in that room. Then you would need to do the same thing for the baseboards in that room, which is still the same perimeter. Okay? For your wall coverage, most of our sheetrock was 8 by 4. So one sheet covered 32 square feet. So I would divide this by 32 to see how many sheets I need. Or you could number. Okay. Or if you have paint and a gallon of paint covers 350 square feet, you will need two gallons to do one coat, which means you'll need four gallons to get your two coats. All right, so that's why you need to start with these calculations. And then you'll do it for each room. Then, when you get to the end, you will have um, your purchase price of your house. Well, how do you calculate your purchase price? Add them all together. No. Your purchase price, you're buying the house for $30 a square foot. You're going to take the square footage of your house design, and everybody's house is different, and multiply it by $30. All right, let's pretend that my house is 1,500 square feet. Okay? That means that when I go to the bank, I have to write a check 
for $45,000. That's pretty cheap. Then, let's say I go to Lowe's, and I buy all these materials that are needed to fix the house. And let's say I pay Lowe's... How many dollars? Uh, $95,000. All right. Well, that's your total out of pocket. This is your out of pocket. Now, the house is done. You turn around and you sell it. It's a 1,500 square foot house, and you are going to make $95 per square foot. You've only profited $2,500. Maybe you need to go back and start changing some of those things. Maybe you need to go back and say, okay, instead of the $5 a square foot floor, I'm going to go with the... 95 cent a square foot floor. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Instead yeah. of Wait, instead of the crown moldings here. that cost forty dollars for eight feet, I'm going to go with the crown moldings that cost twelve dollars for eight feet. All right. So you're going to figure all this out using your best choices, and then if you get here and say, "Ooh, I only made two thousand five hundred dollars. That's a lot of work for only twenty five hundred dollars," and then the tax man's going to come and take half of it. So let me go back and start compromising now. That's why I made you choose two items for everything. So should we make about like fifty thousand dollars? That'd be good. So that'd be too much. Okay, what about like seventy? Whatever you think. What would this be? Seventy thousand. 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 Okay. So, this this is when you decide, do I need to start changing some stuff? And if you do, then you simply go back here and say, well, instead of none of this stuff changes, it's still the same area, it's still the same perimeter, it's still the same wall area. You might say, okay, well, instead of the floors or you can get rid of the seven thousand for 506, floors. I'm going to use the floors that were... Uh, covered one square foot and only cost a dollar twenty five. That means I need three hundred at a dollar twenty five. What was the original price that I just erased? Nine hundred dollars? Six sixty seven. Six sixty seven? That means I just Saved a lot of took money. about three hundred dollars. I just saved about three, or profited three hundred more dollars off of this one change. Okay, so that's where you start making your changes. Does everybody understand? Yeah. And you want to factor in tax? Um, no, you don't have to factor in tax. I think I had said yes at first, but no, because I mean, that's enough calculation. Yeah, that wasn't nice when you said that. All right. Now. That's due Friday. If you have any more questions about it, you're going to have to see me outside of class because we are going to have a test on sections 13, uh, excuse me, 12, 1, 2, and 3 next Thursday. Now we're starting notes and we're going to be cramming because we got 20 minutes. What? So stick with me. Does this note section have a title? 422, section 12.1. But they used to have like the area of Yeah, but you know. Oh, I got oh, you. Sally, Sally. I did these thingies. And yeah. When? I did. And uh I didn't turn for sharing because you weren't there the day. Quiz thingies. I don't remember why, but for some reason I went on your website and I just did it. Alright. We are dealing with right prisms. We have already the day that I was absent and before the break. You were asked to do your uh, definitions and your formulas. Uh, 
and we took a little quiz on it, okay? Well, today we're going to get in 